In this video, we'll show you how to schedule scans in Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. Before we get started, just be aware that you can only create scans for sites that you've already added to the system, so if you haven't created any sites yet, please check out our previous video for details on how to do this. So once you've got your site set up, you've got a few different options for creating a scan. You can either drill down into the site and just click the new scan button, in which case the site is pre-selected for you. Alternatively, from anywhere in Burt Suite Enterprise Edition, you can hover over the Scans menu and select Create a New Scan. In this case, you'll just need to select the site from the drop-down menu. So the first thing you need to decide is when you want your scan to start. You can either schedule it to begin as soon as possible or schedule it for a specific time in the future. For example, if you're scanning a site that other people are using to perform acceptance testing, you might want to schedule it to run overnight to avoid any impact on performance. I'm going to schedule my scan to run at midnight. Next, you can choose whether to create a one-off scan or create a recurring scan that repeats on a regular basis. I'll set my scan to run once per day, and by default, all recurring scans run indefinitely, but you can also specify a fixed number of repetitions or schedule the scan to run until a specific date. Scan configurations give you really granular control over how Burp Scan will behave and what sorts of issues it will check for. There are plenty of built-in configurations for limiting the crawl time, restricting which audit checks are performed, and generally just fine-tuning the scan to achieve better coverage or speed, depending on what your priority is. This can be really useful if you just want to get quick feedback, especially if you're planning to incorporate the scan as part of a CI-CD workflow, for example. If you're a Burp Suite professional user, you'll notice that most of the same built-in scan configurations are available here. You can also choose to create your own custom scan configurations, but we'll cover that in a separate video. It's worth pointing out at this stage that you don't actually have to select any scan configurations. If you just leave this section blank, then Burp Scanner will just use its default configuration, which provides a good balance between coverage and speed. You only need to add a configuration here if you want to override a particular setting or group of settings. If you click on the question mark next to each configuration, you can see exactly which setting it overrides. All of the options are grouped according to the kind of behaviour they control. So if a section's collapsed, like the login functions one here, this means that all of the settings in that area are unchanged from Burp Scanner's standard configuration. So as you can see here, applying this particular configuration hardly affects any of the settings, but you will notice that the Crawl Limits section is expanded. This shows us that one or more settings in this group are different from the standard configuration. As you could probably tell from the name, applying this particular configuration just changes the maximum crawl time to 30 minutes. So, going back to our scan, you probably noticed that a couple of scan configurations were already pre-selected. These are the default configurations that I specified when I created this site. Whenever you're creating a new scan, you're free to override these defaults if you want to. So this time I might want to run a slightly more thorough scan than usual, so I'll make a couple of changes. I'll set the audit coverage thorough configuration and crawl strategy most complete. As you can see, you can select multiple different configurations for the same scan, and these are all applied in sequence, so you can combine several smaller configurations to create an overall configuration that's tailored specifically for this particular site or for what you're trying to achieve with this scan. So now I'm happy with everything, I can go ahead and save. As you can see, the scan's now scheduled. Until it actually starts running, you've got the option to edit which scan configurations are going to be applied, and you can also change the scheduling information if you want to. If you choose to start your scan immediately, the scan status will indicate that it's waiting for the next available agent. Ideally, this should only take a few moments while the scan's initialized, but it does depend on your license and how many scans you already have running. So if you've got a license for 10 agents, for example, this means you can run up to 10 scans at the same time. Obviously, if you've already got 10 scans running, you'll have to wait until one of the others is finished before this one can start. 
This limitation also affects any scans that you've scheduled for a particular time of day, so try to keep this in mind when you schedule new scans so that they don't all coincide. Remember that as your needs grow, you can add more agents to your license at any time by going to your account page on portswigger.net. And that's how you schedule a new scan in Burpsuite Enterprise Edition.